What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using advanced achievements. Advanced Achievements is a simple but ultra customizable custom achievement creation plugin. Create achievements that your players can work for and possibly even get rewarded for completing. To install a plugin, head over to your Server Pro files panel. Open the plugins folder and then navigate to the plugin spigot page. Download the Advanced Achievements jar file as compatible with your server, upload it to your Server Pro panel, and restart your server. Upon connecting to your server, you'll get a custom achievement for connecting, meaning the plugin was installed successfully. This is what completing a custom achievement looks like. The plugin is super in-depth, so I'll try and touch on the basics. For more info, I'd highly recommend checking out the plugin's wiki page, as there's tons of documentation there. The plugin's main command in-game is slash AACH. This brings up some useful help around other commands. Before we get to the next command, I'll place down 5 chests and you'll see why in a moment. This will give me the achievement storage expert slash AACH list brings up a GUI with a list of all available achievement categories. Clicking on one opens another window with one or more achievements inside of it. Clicking on the first category, blocks placed we see a category title block followed by multiple achievement blocks that are color-coded to show our progress. Green means we've accomplished it, yellow means we've started making progress, and red challenges haven't been started. The book at the end takes us back a tab. To see our past achievements and when we got them in another form, we can use the command slash AACH book. This gives us a book of our achievements as well as the date and time we accomplished them. You can even set your own custom rewards for completing achievements. There's two that I'll showcase here, but there's a ton of other options like rewarding currency, XP, items, max oxygen for diving, max health, and even rewarding them by running a command of your choice. I'll quickly milk a cow for an achievement that rewards me with XP, and I'll hoe the ground 10 times to get a reward with 15 cookies. Slash AACH stats shows us our progress in chat. This is useful if you want to check up on your overall progress. Slash AACH week and AACH month show the server's top achievers on the server in the last week and month respectively. AACH top shows us the server's all-time top achievers. Slash AACH toggle hides other players' advancements from you in chat. This could be useful if you're running a large server. Slash AACH inspect followed by an achievement name. I'll use farmer will tell us who finished that achievement and when. Then we have some admin commands, though these only work with some achievements. Slash AACH give, check and delete manage achievements for a selected player. Auto complete is telling me I can give myself your ACH1. So I'll hit tab and then enter my name. Upon hitting enter, we get told that we attended a special event. This command is for adding custom command achievements to players. We'll touch on this once again right at the end. Slash AACH add and reset work with category names. There's an achievement for picking up 40 items, so to demonstrate this, I'll run AACH add 20 item pickups techno, running it twice, and we get the achievement for picking up the blocks. That's it for the in-game commands. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Lang.yml contains localization for the plugin, so you can change the text that the plugin shows to users. GY.yml lets us change what item represents what in the menu. From achievement progress with red, yellow, and lime terracotta, two individual items for each category. Config.yml is very long and has all of the settings for the plugin in it. There are categories in this and lots of information before each setting, so you know exactly what does what. This should make life a lot easier. Starting on line 209, we have database settings. If you'd rather use a MySQL database to store achievements and progress, then you can add one here. But leaving it as is, we'll make sure to store everything in the achievements.db file in the configs directory. Starting on line 252, we have multiple action achievements. This is where we can add achievements that progress as you play, such as breaking or placing multiple blocks, getting a certain number of kills, crafting, running commands, breeding animals, or even hitting objects with projectiles. Starting on line 411, we have normal action achievements. These are simple achievements that you can get by reaching a threshold. There are lots of options here to choose from, and you can edit them or add to them as you see fit. A good example would be adding another progression on line 744, Raids 1. We see that there's an achievement for completing 1 and 10, but we can add a third achievement for, say, 20. I'll go ahead and add one now. 
Doing slash AACH list and going to raise one, we see only two. We can run slash AACH reload and then AACH list once again, and we'll see our third achievement here. If we run AACH add five raids one techno four times, we'll get all three achievements one by one because we're adding a total of 20. As you can see, we were rewarded all of our items. On line 784, we have command-based achievements. These are achievements that your admins can give out or you can integrate with other plugins as a reward commands there. These can only be achieved by running a command from console or a player with permissions, making them perfect for special events. As mentioned earlier with the AACH give command, this is what you give with it. If you have this plugin and you haven't already checked out the wiki page, I'd highly recommend you do so as there's a lot of customization that you can do with this plugin that would be impossible to explain all in one go. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!